Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, IDOT, bringing you guys another video, and today I'm bringing you guys the best playmaking badges in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It helps the channel grow a ton, and I appreciate everything you guys have done thus far. Keep hitting those buttons, like and sub to the channel if you guys are new. Now, let's get right into it. Now, if you guys don't know what to do this year for playmaking, I got you guys today. I There's a couple badges I haven't tested, but, you know, every badge has, like, stayed the same. I've basically tried everything, and I'm going to give you guys my opinions, my thoughts, and what I would rock. And now, as you guys can see, these are my badges right now, and these are what I think is the best. So if you guys need badges, these are honestly what I would run. You obviously don't have to run Dimer. If you don't want to, you can go put that on something else, and I will tell you guys what other badges are really good in this game. So make sure to stay tuned for the entirety of the video. Now, as you guys can see, Ankle Breaker is one of the most OP badges in the entire game. If you can get Ankle Breaker... I highly suggest you put that on. If you have the extra playmaking badges, do it. It is 100% worth it. And the same thing for Space Creator. Space Creator is one of those sneaky badges this year. It is one of the most OP things that you can have. And I am telling you guys, you guys, if you can rock Space Creator and Ankle Breaker, like, combo, disgusting. Bailout, if you don't have Bailout on, you can't pass out of your shots at all to save your life. They'll literally do jumping jacks, and it'll hit them in the forehead. So if you are one who needs to, like, bail out of passes, and you... Like, honestly, if I had any more badges, I'd probably put it on Bailout or Space Creator, but I don't have anything right now, so I'm rocking Dimer too, but I could obviously take that off and put it on, like, Bailout or something. But Bailout is something that you need if you're going to be passing out of a lot of your shots. It is 100% needed. Break Starter, again, I'd probably put this on Bronze. Nothing past that. You don't really need it, but Bullet Passer... If you don't have Bullet Passer on this year, you are missing out. If you ISO and don't have Bullet Passer on, you're basically throwing like a turtle. Bullet Passer is probably... If you had to rank these badges, it is an S tier badge this year. Not even joking. Bullet Passer is one of the best badges in this game. And if you don't have it, you're missing out. And you're probably not good if you don't have Bullet Passer straight up. Uh, Dimer, obviously it helps other people. So if you're a point guard and you throw a lot of passes and dots, you gotta rock it. Helps your teammates a lot. I highly suggest you put that on. Downhill, again, I would not waste playmaking badges on this at all. There's way more badges you can get, and downhill is just not something that I would put on. Again, overall speed, ball in transition, so basically if you're fast break leaking, I guess, and like pro-am, then you can rock it, but like <laughs> besides that, there's nothing. There's like no other point to rock it unless you're pro-am playing like top of a zone or something. Downhill is basically useless in park, so don't use that if you're a park player floor general it correlates with dimer again helps your teammates it gives them a boost it gives you plus one to every attribute on offense so if you're one of those per like one of those people who are like a pass first like team first player then floor general is a badge you want to rock and so with dimer so if you guys want to be a pass first point guard floor general and dimer are two badges you have to have handles for days again correlates with bullet passer it is one of those badges you have to have if you want to be good at this game it is an s tier badge you have to put it on if you want to dribble for more than like two and a half seconds you got to rock it otherwise you're going to struggle dribbling and your stamina is going to drop like crazy needle threader ooh, needle threader is also one of those badges that if you have extra it is really good it helps you drop dimes right over the defense and honestly if i had any more badges again this wouldn't be a bad badge to put it on but again, I only have 21, so I'm kind of stuck with what I can pick. So Needle Threader didn't make the cut, but again, it's a really good badge. Quick First Step correlates with Handles for Days and Bullet Passer again. S tier badge, have to have it. If you don't have Quick First Step, you can't get blow bys. You can't, you're going to struggle getting posters. You're just going to struggle in general without Quick First Step. That is probably one of the first badges you want to get in this game. And it's been the same thing since like, what, 2K18, 2K17? Whenever Quick First Step came in the game, you got to have it. One of the best badges, and I'm not even exaggerating relay passer it's actually trash unless you're like rep grinding it is actually trash <laughs> it boosts shooters on pass to assist so it's literally like dimer with an extra pass that doesn't come from you so it's pretty useless space creator one of the best badges again ankle breaker you gotta rock it space creator you gotta rock it. you gotta have one of these if you're an iso I, like, if you have Space Creator, again, Ticino is someone you guys should watch. He does that little step back where you make so much separation. Space Creator, OP. Ankle Breaker, OP. If you rock those together, you're going to be an ankle breaking demon. Special Delivery. This badge right here 
is one of the most OP things I have ever seen. It will give you team takeover if you have a hot shot and heat seeker. If you have flashy pass, this is basically flashy pass. If you have this badge right here and you do like two flashy passes, you will have team takeover in the park in two shots. Enough said. One of the most OP badges they have this year. Stop and go. I haven't really proved to use this badge at all. There's like no point. It's one of the like most useless badges. It doesn't really improve your speed or at least from what i can tell so i'm not gonna rock it i highly suggest you guys don't rock it tight handles i don't know what tight handles does this year but last year on current gen or last gen on current gen 2k21 it made you do a lot of park dribbles so i'm staying away from it this year i don't even want to try it it's not something i have interest in at all and there's a lot of other badges that you could rock that are way better than this and there's no point unpluckable for the final badge obviously you gotta rock it Again, it's one of those badges you have to have to be good at this game, and you will get ripped so much without Unpluckable. You have to have it. Just simple as that. Now, for the badges, I would rock in priority, in order. We're going to start with Quick First Step. That is the first badge you have to have. It gives you blow buys. It'll help you get contact dunks. You have to have Quick First Step. That is the first badge you should get. And depending... You know, nah, Unpluckable is the second badge you have to get. If you don't have Unpluckable, you're going to get ripped like crazy. Unpluckable is the second badge you have to get, no ifs, ands, or buts. And then from there, it depends what you're prioritizing on. If you're someone who dribbles the ball like crazy, Handles for Days, obviously the badge for you. But honestly, I don't know. It's between Bullet Passer and Handles for Days. These two badges right here are really OP. So if you dribble a lot, you got to go Handles for Days first. So this would be like the third badge you get or bullet passer and then vice versa you just flip it it can this could be your fourth badge or this could be your fourth badge it doesn't matter and then for me i picked ankle breaker or space creator just so i can get ankles in the park or the wreck or whatever it just helps you so much i've tried space creator really good i've tried ankle breaker as well really good and i'm just going for like ankles right now so i have ankle breaker on and then obviously if you have any other badges you can put it on something like dimer you can put it on floor general you could even put it on special delivery which is ridiculously op in the park and that's pretty much it for the playmaking badges this year so if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and make sure to like and sub to the channel if you guys are new and if i helped you guys out at all make sure to let me know down in the comment section down below and if this helped you guys let me know the badge layout you guys are rocking now but that's all i got for today this is i dot thank you guys for stopping by peace out and I got this soul.